All right, Rockstar Slow Runs here for GTA 4, episode t 2, or seven, 7 total. I play a divorced dad in my new movie. It's got a talking car and a flesh-eating disease and threatens mankind, but <laughs> I've got great abs in it. It's a real character piece. Okay, uh, Zach, uh, you've been educated in a public school. Well, sort of. I learned to despise the common herd in a public school. So then I learned about the world by being homeschooled by a friendly teacher. I think it's important we give everyone access to homeschooling. I don't know about that. I, I think community is very important. Yeah, I agree. I was really popular at school. It was great training for life because uh, I'm real popular now. Okay, now, now, Zach, tell us about the plan to end hunger. Well, it's quite simple, really. Almost facile. I looked oh, at hunger as a I supply and demand to problem. Too many hungry people. Simple. Rather than reducing the number of hungry man. people, simply reduce the number of people going to voluntary euthanasia for the weak and unfortunate and turn them into compost for our crops. It's simple. You want to kill people to reduce hunger? Absolutely. It's brilliant. It's barbaric. I blame video teaching our kids to solve hunger by slaughtering the weak. We should only slaughter the weak to win wars and sell guns to unjust governments we keep in power. I despise the government. The government's like the paparazzi, you know? They follow you around, and then when you mess up, they are on you, man. They are on you with a zoom lens. But my blog talks all about it. You can go to a brand new... Okay, okay, w where's the consensus here? I think we've all reached a consensus, Mike. Group seems to be agreeing that, well, under my plan, you'd be one of the first people we eliminated. <laughs> You're a tiny little freak. A nasty little right-wing bully. I bet you've never even gotten laid. Oh, I have. I have lots of times. Yeah, <laughs> mostly by girls. Uh, sometimes with uh, underage chicks. But You're there's no sick, young man. Ah, You're sick. Stop looking at me strangely. I'm tempted to beat a My one and only cousin, except for the other ones. Let's go. Nico, you do... it is to have you here with me. Before you arrived in Liberty City, things were terrible. I still remember the emails you sent me, cousin. You should have told me how bad things were in this country before I got here. Okay, things aren't easy for us here, but together, we are doing all right. America is an opportunity for a new beginning. You were in need of one. There's no such thing as a new beginning, Roman. But every day we live, we pick up new baggage. Baggage that we must carry with us for the rest of our lives. There's no dropping it and pretending we are fresh and clean just because we get off a boat in a new place. Stop being so dramatic, Nico. Time is a healer. We live and we forget the past. Nothing helps a man forget, like right round American titties. You have to move on from the things that happened to you and think about all the opportunities in this country. Chances to make lots of money, chances to get college girls and too bad. Jean said they both finish, Soronia. I heard that. I haven't forgotten our language completely. But the wisdom was handed down from family to family, mother to daughter, father to son, and sometimes while inebriated, father to daughter. But nobody talked about it. 
Now we have HMOs, co-pays, a thousand forms to fill out, gastric bypasses, doctors that charge $30,000 to pry open your love cave with a speculum. Today on the show, from Beta Pharmaceuticals, Public Relations Director, Sheila Stafford. Hi, Ryan. Great to be here. I brought you samples of some breakthrough new drugs. You look like you really need them. Okay, thanks. Uh, and representing the largest HMO in the nation, Copay Health System CEO, Wilson Taylor Sr. Ryan, it's a pleasure to be here to talk about taking the healthcare industry from a patient-centric and business-centric aggregated health care. Ain't got Apple Whoa. access, move it! The model we're looking at in the 22nd century. All right. Okay, Nico. Watch out for all the bullseyes I'll be getting! I think this is too easy. Tits. There's a 
is a great word, a sure word, a powerful word. And that word is schadenfreude. And that word... You make it up words to an argument. Uh, hear me out here, hear me out. Schadenfreude is steigen. The word is schadenfreude, and that word means, fuck you, loser, fuck you. It's I'll catch you around and be calm if you want to hang out again. I want to cuddle your wife while you're going bankrupt, chump, and that means you, Lefty. Okay, okay, look, uh, this is getting... Come on, Patty. Forget about the fat sir. Lads, shut up. But he's a serf, and you're a countess. Talking about serfs. Oh, hey, Nico. Where's Roman? <laughs> Good question. Hey, Yoko, your damn cousin isn't here. Go get me a coffee. What? Get me a fucking coffee! Come on, I'll get you one. What? You keep staring at me. I'll burst one of your eyeballs. Gorgeous, this guy's a fucking creep. Give him a break. There's snow in the country. I can see that. Did you walk here from 1985? Yeah. Excellent. Now stop fucking staring at me. I mean, I know I'm good looking and everything, but come on. Uh, hey, Mallory. Hey, man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> About time. Vlad, Vladdy boy, what's going on? Roman. Roman boy. You tell me what's going on. Mass aftershave, what is that? Sex pest? No, <laughs> it's where is my fucking money? I, I had it. I, I had some of it. Then those Albanians you said you would deal with came and smashed my computer. So it's my fault? I, I didn't say that. Good. Anyway, Nico dealt with him. Brought Darden's arm, then beat up a couple more. Then we teach them a real lesson. <laughs> is that so? I tell you what. While you don't pay, maybe you and Nico can do me few favors. <laughs> Good. Why not? Play to Vlad. What? The phone's ringing. Hey. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I can't do it. My cousin will do it. Yes, he can drive. No, he's not a cop. His name is Nico. You'll be right over. Nico. Sorry to ask, cousin. Can you go pick up Jermaine, one of my regulars? He's over on Rotterdam Hill on Mohawk Avenue? Whatever. What was this all about? Nico came in looking for you, and Vlad told him to get him a fucking coffee, and Nico didn't want to. Coffee? What was he thinking? I know. Thanks for coming. Can you tell?
take me over to Masterson Street? Masterson Street it is, Jermaine. Shit, I thought Roman was gonna pick me up. I need someone I can trust for this run. I'm Roman's cousin. If you can trust him, you can trust me. Ah, uh, he told me about you. You're Nico, right? The hotshot ladies' man cruising around the Mediterranean, breaking hearts and making millions? Yeah, I traded in the yacht for this cab. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of bullshit I can imagine Roman making up. You've got to give him credit for his imagination. Yeah, you got it. I had a feeling you sounded too good to be true. The question is, are you willing to get your hands dirty? My hands haven't been clean for a long time. Being here in Liberty City is just making them dirtier. Okay, okay. I gotta pick up some hot parts for my locker. You down? I ain't got no problem with that. Just don't tell me if you stole this shit from a hospital or a school for sick kids. My conscience is troubled enough already. You may value your privacy, but John Hunter doesn't. He wants to install a camera in your bedroom, so every time you jerk off, you have to pay $5. John Hunter voted to lower the marriage age down to 13. He wants to put your family at risk by outlawing 60 caliber full auto assault rifles and domestically owned landmines. Call John Hunter. Tell him it's time to stop with the politics and the negative campaign ads. Tell him you're going to vote for Michael Graves. That door isn't Ed meant Columbus to be open. Wait here while I take a look. By Michael Graves for governor. Weasel News. Now, this breaking news brought to you by Wigwam Burger. The cops are on to me. Get us out of here. It's not Felching, it's poker. It's the I'll spit it out, man. Get these cops it's off our tail. Congress is meddling in our fun time again and planning to outlaw online poker. The outlaw online poker. I ain't going down, man. Get rid of this heat. And the Jews. Residents are clearly confused as to what the topic at hand is, but nevertheless, they're overflowing with ignorance. In Algonquin, Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. Now, in South Bohan, one resident is doing everything he can to make a Things. I'm looking for something. Good luck finding them. How's the hunt been going so far? It has not really started yet. I'm getting settled in, you know. Roman has had some issues with loan sharks that needed to be resolved. There's this asshole called Vlad, who he owes money to as well. Good luck with that. Okay, we're here. Thanks, man. Keep looking after Roman, I. Right? Jermaine, where he wanted to go. Good, Nico, thanks, thanks. Can't talk. See you soon.
headed to town. I don't give a fuck if the bridge is busy. You're a cab driver. Hey. Hello, Roman Bellic Enterprises. Uh, no, uh, Mr. Bellic is stepped away from his office. Can I take a message? Okay, great. No, I'm not gay. Yes, I'll, <laughs> I'll tell him. Car seven, head to South Slopes. Come on, where are you, Mohammed? Hello, I'm in the leaks up. Shit, fucking battery. This is chaos. Capitalism is a dirty business. Yeah, like war. Not exactly. No, maybe not. When you going to tell me properly about what happened? I'm not going to judge you. Uh, when you got time. There, I have time. Another time. Can I help? Okay, yes. Go pick up my friend, little Jacob. He's a good man. He likes to smoke a bit. Look after him. He's on Oneida Avenue in South Slopes. Nico, man, we should talk sometime. I'm a good listener. Whatever, man. Mohammed, what the fuck up? Oh, Miss Weinstock. No, no, not you. I, I, what can I do for you today? Хлопцям то говорить Руслана з радіо Владивосток. Тут я маю своє тепер радіо і буду говорила файні, дуже файні речі. Бойва! spot where I need you to win by it. See? You got to ask you another favor, too. Go for it. Can you take this piece? You hear anything bad going down? You come and help, sight? Are you worried about this? I know how to use a gun if you want me to keep watch on things. Realness, brother. You're my man Roman's cousin. Thanks. Respect. This rascal that I rock is with my bridging real bad man the other day. I want to make peace, but John know what type of shit they might pull off. Watch out for any badness. Sure. What's this? I know there's only gonna be one of you who's coming. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. We have to teach a bad man his lesson and thing. Shit, Nico, get this blood clad. Nico, check him. Forward, 
sorry for Marga Dog. Marga Dog turn around by it. Come here back at home, bro, cafe. The real creation step on Nico. Righteous with that face. I have had much experience. I think we can do some work together, Auntie. Now the future, you know? I am always looking for work. If it pays. Here's my number. Make we link up I soon. I my kids at home unattended when I go out drinking, but I don't want them to get into trouble. What can I do? I've petitioned Congress to outlaw everything that isn't suitable for children, but they're not listening. Try the Vindication Angel Curse Buster BC. Holy fucking shit! That's right. The Vindication Angel Curse Buster BC monitors television and movies for profanity and replaces it with a convenient, similar-sounding word. Who the fuck are you? God, bitch. Come over here and lick my... Yeah, we have thanks for everything. Already. You can yeah, keep the peace. Yeah. I think you know if you use it better than I and I do. One love. Hey, we Rasta. And I need to talk. Make we do it. Even when you're not. You never have to worry mm, jerk about your children being exposed to profanity, nudity, bestiality, polygamy, drug or alcohol use, mooning, heavy petting, teabagging, attractive teen girls in bikinis, homosexuality, or sleep. Rom, I took Jacob where he wanted to go. Driving for you ain't as boring as I thought it would be. Jacob is a good man. Watching glue dry with Jacob would not be boring. Thank you, God. Violent crime is heavily on the rise in Liberty City, but unsurprisingly, police say the blame lies elsewhere. The police department is pointing to a recent influx of Eastern European undesirables and a rising gang culture in Liberty City to explain the rising crime. Eastern Europeans disagree. I'm tired of stereotype like vodka, toilet paper, like four cop, and violent tendency make me want to smash in your Ready, Roman cousin. It's blood. Glad the uh, name doesn't ring any bells. I'm solved. You better start remembering the important people you just visited. Your cousin owes me a lot of money. If you don't want to make things real difficult for him, you are going to come to Kamran's bar in Moha. I have a word for you. Like this dingy liberal who saw the hybrid I borrowed for the story as I drove on the streets of Hatton Gardens. Hybrid? God, I want to fuck you. Wow. In Hatton Gardens, I'm Eric House, Weasel News. Tell me, tell me more about composting. Some residents don't agree that leaders are protecting them by shutting the bridges and tunnels. We pay a lot for those bridges. Ah, fuck Yo. you! You're a Kiss bunch of pussies and fags! Nice! I'm going well, back to the meeting! Good! I'm going yeah. to be somebody! Yeah, yeah. See you later, man. You always were an asshole, Mickey! Hey, watch where you're going! Hey! Hey! Sorry, I tried to tell you... Fuck you! Excuse me. Sorry, man. I see you later, okay? Yoko! Fetty Roman's cousin! What's your name again? Big Mouth Flick. Better catch him. Sit down. Cousin, uh, Nico. That's it, Nico. Not Big Mouth Prick. You funny guy. I try. Yes, and this one's. I'll let you take the shit out of me. Take the shit? Yes, me give out. I don't understand. Ah, people who fuck with me get fucked with. Okay, fine. Calm down. Whatever. Some old man not paid me in months. And I'm not the kind of person who's treated this way. Old bastard owns the china shop in the Campton Avenue in Dukes. Here you go. Don't hurt him. Just teach him a lesson. I don't need a bath to teach a lesson. If I get a cab or I could just use the car and over here. Actually, I should get this back to uh, from Russian boy got to 
готов играть на American Dream. Just checking if I could use the train or not. The stations are all too far apart to be useful. This is your boy from Bohan. What's poppin'? This crazy fuck is holding a gun!
get that without any ice, please. You probably won't we'll get I this. Appreciate that. Oh, we basically almost walked all the way there. That'd be a cab. Chicks, don't you ever shut up? Hey, let me in. You have Vlad protection money, old man. Big Vlad and his protection money? I'm so scared. What I need protection from? You think this door is going to save your shop? There's shit I can break out here. Vlad should pay me to tell punks like you to go away. He get no money. Stop it, shit brain! I pay up now! I pay up! Shit! Here! I thought Vlad and I had understanding. Only thing I understood was you owed him money. 
Yeah, I should use the train the whole time. <laughs> Sure, which side am I supposed to be on? Let's see. So I need to go south. That's the upper left. The next stop is Shotler Station. The train is approaching. Yep, really should have done this. I cannot hear you, princess. I know, but... I know, 
love, but I'm not money tree. Understand? But maybe. He's just following that guy. I forget he knew where he was going. That usually works on trains. I guess it doesn't work in. Hey, Yokel. You managed to do the job? Get Vlad his money? He paid up. I had to smash the shop up pretty good, but he paid. Don't worry your little peasant head about it. Stupid jerk made a mistake of telling me how much he gets that shit for back east. He's the biggest crook in the neighborhood. Lucky I don't tell his customers what they're paying for. That it? Can I go now? Sure. Get out of my face. been having that much fun since I got here. Has been a lot like hard work. Well, you should hang out with your cousin more often. Maybe that is the problem. <laughs> I'm sitting here with Brucey. Well, we're sitting here and calling the cops and watching them show up and look around. The fucking stupid bastards. You shouldn't cry wolf, Roman. Who knows when you really need help? Fuck! I think they see us. Have to call Nico. <laughs> 